Doctor Who once called the universe complicated and ridiculous, noting that sometimes impossible things can happen, maybe even time travel. A team of researchers in Australia is working to prove that perhaps this notion is possible after all. Hello, I'm Justine Murphy, and this is Light Matters for September 30th, 2016. Thanks for joining us. Researchers at the University of Queensland have simulated time travel with quantum particles. Specifically, they have shown that one photon can pass through a hole and then interact with its older self. Stay tuned for more details later in the show. Also on the show, we talk about ongoing work by a company in Idaho to develop solar paneled roads, highways, and even parking lots and sidewalks with the ultimate goal of generating widespread green renewable energy. A solar paneled parking lot and a sidewalk have already been installed for further testing of its invention. And we offer a glimpse at the October issue of Photonic Spectra, which includes features and a special section dedicated entirely to the field of optics. But first, researchers in the UK have cracked a codex employing hyperspectral imaging to reveal never-before-seen pictographic scenes from a 500-year-old Mexican scroll. A long-concealed pre-colonial pictorial narrative has come to light at the Bodleian Libraries in England thanks to a new hyperspectral imaging technique. These pictographic scenes and text exist on the back of a nearly 500-year-old Codex Selden, which is an ancient Mexican manuscript that has been covered up and reused to create what is currently visible. The pictures and text were hidden under a layer of gypsum and chalk on the newly revealed manuscript that dates back to around 1560. It is one of less than 20 known Mexican codices to have outlasted the country's pre-colonial and early colonial days. The new imaging method employs a hyperspectral scanner acquired by the Bodleian Libraries in 2014 with the support of the University of Oxford's Fell Fund. It shines white light on the object and for each pixel, all of the light reflected back is captured. This amounts to about 900 different wavelengths in the electromagnetic spectrum, beyond what is visible to the human eye. According to the Bodleian researchers, all pigments and paints have different spectral signature fingerprints, essentially that can be identified by the scanner. The researchers have found that the covered text and pictorials contain unique genealogical information that could prove invaluable for the interpretation of archaeological remains from southern Mexico. The Bodleian Library's hyperspectral device has also been used to clarify text on India's Bakshali manuscript, analyze the earliest known medieval roadmap of Great Britain, and reveal hidden messages in a centuries-old Armenian gospel book. Imagine generating energy from parking lots and highways. Imagine self-heating roads making winter travel less treacherous. Imagine electrical wires running underground protected from the elements. It's possible an Idaho-based startup Solar Roadways is working to prove it. Founded by Scott and Julie Brusa, the company's aim is to essentially turn roads, highways, and even parking lots, driveways, and sidewalks into green energy power generators. The panels would heat themselves, removing the dangers of ice and snow-covered roads, and LED lights embedded in the panels could replace street signs and even present traffic messages along roads to alert drivers to approaching construction zones, traffic delays, or other hazards. The company is working on cable corridors too, which would house electrical and cable wires beneath the solar panels to protect them from the weather and theoretically prevent power outages and other such issues. The first panel prototype was completed in 2010 with support from the U.S. Department of Transportation's Small Business Innovation Research Program. This first 12-foot by 12-foot panel offered a glimpse at the possibilities of an intelligent road surface. A crowdfunding campaign has raised more than $2 million for the company's research, development, and expansion, and private donations are helping as well. Subsequent rounds of federal small business innovation program aid have kept the project moving forward, with the development of a smaller, more efficient solar panel prototype thanks to funds awarded in 2011. The panels feature solar cells inside recycled glass that has been specially tempered to withstand the weight of tractor-trailer trucks. 
In 2014, the company installed the world's first solar parking lot outside its facilities for further research. And soon, the solar road panels will be tested when installed on a sidewalk near a rest stop along Route 66 in Missouri and on a road in Sandpoint, Idaho, where Solar Roadways is based. These pilot installations will serve as research tools as the company continues toward widespread implementation. Doctor Who and Back to the Future, however fictional, both have offered a glimpse at what time travel could be like. And now, using photons, a team at the University of Queensland in Australia has been able to simulate it with quantum particles. Specifically, they have shown that one photon can pass through a hole and then interact with its older self. The researchers say that the idea of time travel may be possible based on the interface between both Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity and quantum mechanics. The theory of general relativity describes the world at the very large scale of stars and galaxies, while quantum mechanics describes the world at the very small scale of atoms and molecules. Einstein's theory suggests the possibility of traveling backwards in time by following a space-time path that returns to the starting point in space, but at an earlier time, in closed time-like curves, or CTCs. Described as causal loops in space-time, CTCs simulate gravitational fields similar to those produced by a spinning black hole that researchers say could hypothetically be based on Einstein's theory. This could potentially warp the fabric of existence to make space-time bends back on itself, breaking free from linear time. This creates a CTC as a pathway for time travel. These possibilities were first discovered in 1949 by Kurt Gödel, an Austrian mathematician and philosopher. And according to Queensland researchers, it has been puzzling physicists and philosophers ever since. They say it seems to cause paradoxes in the classical world, including the grandparents' paradox, in which a time traveler could prevent their grandparents from meeting and thus prevent the time traveler's birth. In 1991, Queensland physics professor Tim Ralph predicted that time travel in the quantum particles world could avoid those paradoxes. The Queensland study is ongoing and offers insight into where and how things might behave differently from the researchers' speculations. The work was published in Nature Communications. In a nod to the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Optical Society, marked by the Society's annual meeting later this month, the October issue of Photonic Spectra focuses on optics, past and present. In an exclusive interview, OSA's current president, Alan Wilner, reflects on breakthroughs in the field over the last three decades and shares his predictions on the increasingly critical role of optics in the photonic integrated circuit revolution. Past and present are also the themes of a feature titled Art and Science, the Development and Impact of Optics. Within it are chronicled the contributions of 19th century physicists Thomas Young, Augustine John Fresnel, and Hermann L. F. von Helmholtz, who formulated the wave theory of light and polarization, work that would lay the groundwork for today's advances in quantum dot technology and advances in material science. Also, in keeping with the optics focus, Marie Freebody's Great Strides in Optical Fabrication examines new approaches to molding, surface process optimization, and freeform capable tools. These features and more are coming your way in the October issue of Photonic Spectra. And that's it for this month's show. Check us out on social media, and if you're not already, you can subscribe for free to our publications and newsletters by visiting photonics.com. Until next time, keep following the photons.